So before I begin with my presentation, uh, I would like to say thank you to the organizers for giving me this uh, platform to present my work. So we must uh, just, uh, uh, and before I go further, I would also like to say uh, thank you to my supervisor, Dr. Bhupendra Singh, my guide, that uh, without uh, his uh, support or guidance, I won't be able to present this work. So the title is uh, like that. Actually, uh, I keep it here somewhere. The heat transfer in uh, magnetic hydrodynamic micropolar Jeffrey fluid flow through porous medium over an exponentially stretching sheet with uh, uh, thermal uh, radiation. Now, in this paper, uh, numerical investigation of the problem, the set problem is being uh, examined. And here I have used this uh, using uh, similarity solutions based on the boundary layer assumptions. And through the suitable similarity transformations, the governing partial differential equations are transformed into the nonlinear ordinary differential equations. And uh, MATLAB software has been used to solve this uh, and uh, inbuilt solver is there, BVP4C. So a parametric study for the, a parametric study for such a, a like uh, param different uh, parameters like magnetic field, porosity, Jeffrey fluid, etc., or uh, the radiation permit on the flow and heat transfer is conducted, and the effects were discussed. So, a uh, physical interpretation set of numerical results on uh, are obtained. Like uh, we have used velocity profile, micro rotation, and the temperature profile, and the graphs are plotted, and the characteristics has been. Uh, shown by using uh, whatever uh, graphs are plotted. Based on that, uh, certain conclusions has been made. So the study of boundary layer flow over a stretching sheet has gained much interest in past few years because of its, uh, uh, just, now I'll be more comfortable. I hope you won't mind if uh, I'm switching off my camera because some network issues uh, I am getting here. Now the slide is more visible to me. And various applications like polymer extrusion, annealing, and thinning of copper wires. So this uh, has uh, many applications, basically in fibers and uh, polymer, plastic sheets. So flowing the boundary layer on a moving continuous solid surface was first investigated by Sikida since then. Now various uh, aspects of the problem have been investigated. So sort, uh, just in references, I have mentioned few uh, uh, the research, the name of the researchers and the papers from where I have taken uh, a help. Now, as a result of our research work, the current study aims to investigate the flow and heat transfer of a Jeffrey fluid over an exponentially stretching sheet and uh, similarity transformations, basically similarity transformations. I'm not going into detail just because of uh, some other engagements and short of timings. So Jeffrey fluid is in general a less complex direct model utilizing time derivative instead of a convective derivative and utilizing by most fluid models. Now this liquid model is equipped for depicting the qualities of retardation and relaxation time. Uh, coming to the mathematical formulation of the problem, a steady, uh, this two dimensional flow of an incompressible Jeffrey fluid over an exponentially stretching surface is considered. Uh, with a uniform magnetic field. X axis has been taken along the stretching surface with Y axis normal to it. And the sheet stretched vertically with the velocity W is equals to e X to the power L, where this L is the uh, reference length. The flow and heat transfer characteristics under the boundary layer and voice like approximations. Now with the radiation effects are governed by the by these equations, like equation of continuity momentum and this micro rotation and one uh, temperature. I hope you're visible to see here. 
Now this, uh, where uh, the symbols uh, have their usual meaning, like U and V are the velocity components in the X and Y directions. Lambda one is the ratio of the relaxation and retardation time. Uh, lambda two is the relaxation and T is the fluid temperature. Then the, this mu, uh, nu is the kinematic viscosity and mu is akin as a coefficient of fluid viscosity. Likewise, uh, this uh, standard symbols has been taken and like uh, for thermal conductivity on all. Then the corresponding boundary conditions, these are taken as uh, this like UWX, like first it is the velocity of the uh, sheet and where this uh, in, U goes infinity is uh, this B E X is the external velocity. Then hereby we introduce some uh, similarity variable like uh, eta. Now this F and theta are the dimensionless stream functions and uh, stream function is uh, and this theta is the uh, for temperature and these uh, introducing these uh, similarity variables now the equations has been transformed these equations has been transformed or reduced to the nonlinear ordinary differential equation so uh, with the help of this bb uh, for, uh, this bvp package or the mill solver uh, this uh, equations has been reduced and uh, here graphically we have uh, applied these equations for uh, this uh, simulated velocity, micro rotation and uh, the temperature and these parameters, the effect of these parameters has been studied based on the graphical results. These are the transformed uh, boundary conditions. Actually, I'm not going into the detail just, just because of short of time. I'm sorry for that. But uh, quickly, just I am presenting an overview of the uh, my work, just a research paper, like effect of various parameters on uh, velocity, micro rotation and temperature. Like uh, all the three graphs, like what uh, uh, the nature, by the nature of the graph, we can uh, have a few conclusions at the end of my slide that uh, how come it is uh, like near the, uh, you can say near the sheet, like uh, where this uh, Jeffrey fluid is in the solid form and when we move away from the uh, this uh, boundary, then it's uh, come to be in a, a fluid state. So here uh, the graphs for the Jeffrey fluid parameters that how it is, uh, showing effect on this uh, velocity profile, micro rotation profile, and here theta is a temperature profile. Here like it is showing that uh, with the increase uh, uh, in the value of this uh, lambda 2, the temperatures is also increasing. It's the effect of uh, de Borel number. So likewise, uh, all the graphs has been drawn. Basically, graphical uh, discussion has been there in my uh, paper. So, like, uh, likewise, this uh, one minute. Like uh, one, I can. Like uh, a porous medium, like uh, does not, or is this the uh, flow? Uh, I know flow, flow has been asserted. Now, larger the uh, denseness of the porous medium, the larger the uh, temperature, or the micropolar particles of the fluid oscillates irregularly about the point. And uh, eta, the value is being shown, and accordingly, porosity based on this porosity or other parameters, likewise for De Bora number and Prandtl number, mix convention. Uh, I'm just uh, sorry again, I have few engagements and not able to uh, give you, uh, explain them properly because of the short of timing. Just uh, I'm coming to the conclusion part. Like it is found that temperature profile of the fluid increases with the decrease in the value of Deborah number. And also the radiation parameter controls the thickness of the thermal boundary layer. 
and it has also been concluded that the increase in the micropolar parameter leads to the uh, cooling of the sheet and the mixed convection. These are the few conclusions which have been uh, drawn. And it is also concluded from the plotted graph that Jaffrey fluid parameter and magnetic field parameter has an inverse effect on uh, micro rotation profile of the fluid. And that is increasing the value of this uh, parameters leads to the decrease in micro rotation. Right? And then near the sheet, the fluid uh, show the oscillating uh, behavior. So some references and few uh, references I mentioned in the end. One paper I have mentioned here. This has been accepted, but yet to be published. So thank you once again for the patient listening. I'm really sorry again that I actually I have to go somewhere, so I won't be able to attend more. I am uh, hope for uh, looking forward and hopefully I'll be there for tomorrow session. Thank you so much once again. No I'm uh, stop sharing sir. my screen. Uh, yes, sir, please. Uh, thank you very much for your uh, excellent talk, Professor Agarwal. Uh, any question or comment regarding the presentation of the Professor? Uh, please prefer uh, question and answer button below for any questions or comments. Uh, since uh, no any question or comment, uh, 